I wrote about aliens. There's a, <laughs> yay, hooray for aliens. If there's any songwriters in the crowd, I will tell you now, if you ever write a song about aliens, you will, you will have to sing it at every one of your shows. <laughs> because due to the subject matter, I found that a lot of people are really into it. Also, I like to preface this whole song with this statement here that this is a work of fiction. And, uh, because I found out again, if you sing a song about aliens and you do not preface it with the fact that it's a work of fiction, then people come and talk to you about the strangest shit you ever heard in your life. This is a work of fiction. I would like to tell you that I have a podcast. It's called Alabama Astronaut. Yeah. Y'all come tomorrow. At, well, if, if you I'm, I hope to see some of y'all tomorrow. Some of y'all probably didn't get tickets, but we're playing our first show, our first public show outside of a church with the Coots Duo from the podcast. And uh, we're going to have a real good time doing it. I woke up at 6 o'clock this morning, went all the way up to McKee, Kentucky, and practiced with them. That's only two hours away, and then I drove two hours back, and then I've been sitting around here for a few hours now playing this show, and then sometime later on, probably in the early hours of the morning, I'm going to play with the Psych over there, and then I'm going to go try to sleep for a little bit, and then I'm going to get up and play the gospel music on tomorrow morning, and then we're going to go to uh, some church tomorrow afternoon, and then... I'm going go to go down to Knoxville. I'm going to wake up. My wife's going to drop me off in the Atlanta airport. And I'm going to fly all the way to London. And I got a sold out show in Eastbourne, Eastbourne, England on Wednesday night. Yeah. It's the beginning of a... It sounds awesome. And it is awesome. But it's hard living. <laughs> anyway, God, I'm talking too much. This song... Oh, listen. So the, the podcast is called Alabama Astronaut. It's singular. This song is called Alabama Astronauts. It's plural. The first one's about a, a, my attempt to document the music of serpent handling churches in Appalachia. This is a song about aliens that have absolutely nothing to do with each other. And if you ever make a podcast about your attempt to document the music of serpent handling churches in Appalachia and also write a song about aliens, I would suggest that you do more to differentiate them in their titles than simply making one singular and one plural. Now we're done with all the prefaces that have to be made with this song. I hope you like it. <laughs> well, all was quiet in the back 40 trailer park last night. I mean, there were a few domestic fights and them usual petty crimes, but I was feeling all right. I was drinking whiskey with my Sprite and I was toasting all those ghosts of the lost southern pines when I heard a lurking in the night. I knew something wasn't right as I was covered in the white of this otherworldly light and I looked up and I beheld it was a spacecraft from another world. At least that's what I thought I observed cause I ain't learned but I can certainly confirm there ain't nothing on this planet ever turned at the angle in the rate of speed at which it surged. <laughs> and then I heard my neighbor Wanda, man, she was cursing in slurs as the UFO swirled and upon her trailer it converged and she was carried away in this tractor beam. It was a horrible scene. Her hair was still in rollers. Her nighty was busting at the seams and her scream. Man, it got all the more extreme as she flew through the air to this extraterrestrial machine. And I said, oh my God, this can't be a dream. Because I mean, yeah, I know I've been drinking and probably even smoked a little green. But I can't stand LSD, man, and this would be an hallucination supreme, even obscene. And so I jumped into action like a Vietnam era Marine. I said, this is going to be war. You know I had seen one before. I had a stash of ammunition underneath my trailer floor. And I'd heard freaky stories galore from Bubba next door. And it sure ain't my ass the aliens going to probe and explore. So I got me a 12-gauge pump and an AR. 
I got my granddaddy's government issue cave bar. And I said, you aliens, y'all should have never came down here. Now this is going to be war. Because I've been, I've been waiting on the aliens to come. I've been waiting on the aliens to come. I've been waiting on the aliens to come. <laughs> Here's another little tip for all you songwriters out there. If you write a verse that has way too many words in it, you got to keep the chorus very, very simple. <laughs> uh, so I threw some cover fire and jump, and I crawled to my truck. I knew if I was going to beat these aliens that I'd need distance and luck, and so I spent through the muck till I ended up. Over by the fence line, I hunkered down in the brush. I started siding in my gear when this little green man appeared, and he looked right through my soul. Why in my eyes he stared, and I knew he must have got scared when he saw that I had no fear and that I'd smoke his little green ass without shedding a tear. And then he disappeared, and I said, Man, this is really getting weird. And so I ran through trailer park like a redneck Paul Revere. I said, the aliens are coming. Now don't take to running, boys. Let's take our stand here, y'all. Let's do some extraterrestrial hunting. Cause I've been I've been waiting on aliens to come. I've been waiting on the aliens I've been waiting on the aliens to... I don't know why I do that. I probably should stop, so Now stars fell on Alabama And a lot of other shit has too But the last thing we were gonna take Was being pursued by this alien crew Who intergalactically flew Through time and space Just to land into the back 40 trailer park And yeah, we made our mark We beat them aliens back And we did it in the dark Then we found Wanda And her only remark was that she gets they had to abduct her But in her nightgown, man, that was just harsh and I even stole a little space traveling cart I got it out in the barn Me and Bubba painted it camouflage And we're soon about to embark As an interstellar white trash Lewis and Clark We're gonna call ourselves the Alabama Astronauts Cause I've been, I've been waiting on the aliens to come I've been waiting on the aliens to come I've been waiting on the aliens to come Thank y'all so much for coming down here and putting up with this shit